welcome back to the Makeup Masters Free app. Today I wanted to focus in on a specific brand, not because I've been paid by them or sponsorship or anything like that. My sister-in-law gave me a really nice gift set that had a few of their products that I'm really excited to try, especially the highlighting palette that a few of you have recommended to me. And I always love their eyeshadow palettes. I want to try their liner and their lip products and things. So I hope you enjoy and here we go. So this is the sleek makeup set that I got for Christmas and can you see, da da da, I thought I'd film before I did my makeup because I know I'm just going to mess it up. I've already popped a bit of foundation on, a little bit of bronzer and contour and then an eyeshadow primer because I don't actually think I have any sleek ones of those and I wanted to keep it all sleek just so we know just the brand a little bit more. This one is probably my favourite one in the eyeshadow palette, so I think I'll use that one. It's got a really pretty, I love it when it's got that pinky gold. It's just so flattering and it still works really well if you've got fair skin or if you've got olive skin. It's just, just so flattering. I particularly like it on my green eyes because when everything, anything has a little bit of warmth to it, it's just going to make the green pop out a little bit more. So I'll work that one, and as you can see, it's really nice and pigmented. So as I said, I do have used their eyeshadows on myself for years now, because I do love the value for money and how pigmented and easy to blend and brush through they are. Just using a bit more of a blending brush through the crease, soften that down a bit. Then I'll just use a little bit of the same one underneath the eye. I want to keep this look simple, but I will go in with a little bit of that goldy shade on the inside of the eye. I'm going to try the Dip It Sleek Eyeliner for the first time. Oh, I've not even broken the seal, look at that. Let's see what nib it's got. Yep, like a little felt tippy one. So you probably know if you watch my videos anyway, I tend to be a gel liner girl. I like using a brush just because I've used a brush and gel one for years. But I used to use this style of liner back in my teenage days, a long, long time ago, too long ago. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm not used to using it, but, so I'm just colouring over the base of my lashes. I did find the brush a little bit firm and I do find you have to sort of build this one up to try and get it opaque. Comb the brows into place. I dip into a palette that I've had for years, so this is the O Natural 601. I hope you still do it, but one I bought many years ago and I loved this colour for the brows, maybe just mixing it in with a little bit of the, the grey shade you want it a bit deeper and obviously you've got more of a matte brown at the bottom if you're a bit of a brunette you can always mix it to take it down a wee bit and I'm just doing this with the angle brush if you do want it a little bit darker as well you can just wet your brush let's try this solace highlighting palette I've heard so much about I'm going to dip into this pretty champagne shade highlighter oh it's a little bit lighter on the skin actually that it looks there but yeah it does have a lovely glow i'm just polishing it onto the skin so yeah it comes out a little bit cooler than it looks in the palette but yeah really pretty oh actually that's not cream Silly me, that one's a powder one too, so that's just the cream one there. Try a little bit of that. I'm just going to be so highlighted. Get it all on! That one does have a little bit more yellow to it, which I do enjoy. Let's try a bit of the cream one too. Cream. 
cream ones are lovely if you don't want it to look too powdery if you just want to melt it into your makeup a bit more make it part of the foundation so it doesn't just look like shimmer I'm just going to quickly brighten that highlight in the eye as well the first one I used you have a sleek blush I got ages ago um, but it is very pigmented this one will be great on like darker skin so I'm just going to use a tiny tiny little bit of it I don't want to go mad with it just to brighten my complexion up a bit that shade is Flamingo I popped a little bit of lip conditioner on is because it can help with these sort of ultra matte liquid lipsticks so it is the matte me ultra smooth matte lip cream in vino tinto tinto vino tinto sorry i'm really dyslexic so the simplest things baffle me sometimes and i'm not like taking the mick out of dyslexic people i am dyslexic <laughs> very much so so you may find it a little bit easier to use a lip pencil underneath because obviously it's quite a dark colour. You'll probably get a little bit neater but I didn't want to use one just because I want to see the colour for its true self and how pigmented and opaque it is. Ooh. It is pigmented. Actually not too hard to apply without a lip pencil either. These sort of doe foot applicators work a treat. This colour would look incredible on deeper skin tones as well. Might as well try a little bit of this sleek glitter in gold while I'm at it. Where should I put it? I don't want loads. Just a little bit there. You may find this easier to do before you do your eyelashes. I do love liquid based glitter, it's just the best, especially if you are doing it at the end because if you're using like a loose glitter it just goes all over your lashes, over your liner and I find these sort of liquid ones stay on much better, don't drop down your face. I will try a little bit of the Matte Me Metallic in Roman Copper because why not? I'll just do it like a highlight. Ooh. I want to kind of not have it all over, just where the light would hit your lips so they look really pouty. up a little bit right in the middle bits kind of along the cupid's bow a bit more thank you so much for watching please let me know what you want to see on the makeup masters app next time and hope to see you soon bye bye